Hello, this is Haka Devin, and I am here with r slash Tumblr again. After how insanely serious yesterday this video went, I wanted to take a break from serious topics because they are not a good fit for my channel. So I decided to just enjoy some funny memes from Among Us Last Tumblr. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. I'm at a restaurant right now, and there's this like 16 year old kid sitting at a table next to me, completely alone with six racks of ribs. He's eating one rib every 10 seconds, and the poor server who has assigned who was assigned to him has to keep getting him new ribs. I've been here for an hour just watching this kid in hell ribs like he's gonna die the next day. He probably will given the amount of hot sauce he put on them. I cannot stress enough that this is a, a stick thin a teenage child sitting alone at a restaurant absolutely going to town on these ribs. This child is eating like he's, he's trying to personally rid the world of ribs. I've been timing him. He orders a full rack of ribs every two minutes. This is freaking insane. I don't know what to do. One warm egg, as promised. Ooh, goody. Took you a while. A while? You asked for a room. Do you have any idea how- Yes, yes. Your purse will be plenty heavy, finder. For your troubles. You're not the first cockshire or warlock to try this, you know. Cockshire? Worms aren't like normal beasts. Doesn't matter if you hatch that thing yourself. Raise it from um, birth. Creatures like that don't obey immortals. Plenty of your kind have gotten themselves devoured for this kind of hubris. Listen, man, I just want a really big omelette. <laughs> Makes sense. You are beautiful. Hey, I love your hair. Thanks, I love yours too. <clears throat> your drawing is cute. Thanks. I'm sorry to bother you. I just want to say you look lovely. Thank you. Hey, sexy. Nice tits. Please, leave me alone. Learn to take a compliment. That isn't a compliment. Sorry, but being sexualized like that is not a compliment. Oh, there's more. Street harassment is not a compliment. Terry vlogged this already? Doesn't matter, still relevant. It is. My roommate knows a lot about me that I didn't tell willingly, but you had to learn anyway. He knows what it sounds trigger or panic in me and why. He knows why I have a criminal record. He knows, knows how, why, and where I got the scars I have, and where the gash out of the back of my head came from. 
He knows what kind of lows I've sunk to and what kind of things I've had to resort to in order to survive there. He's seen me throw up raw meat. He's seen me at my worst, jittering at my sick, I guess, and at my weakness, at, at my weakest. He's had to catch me more than once when I've stood up too fast and had to grab something before I fell. And now, for some... Um, freaking reason, the one thing he's decided to fix on, hate on, and roast me about, is this being that, that, yes, directly speaking, I would eat a giraffe. In... If times are tough, times are tough, wouldn't you eat a giraffe if you were starving? <sighs> oh my goodness. In the movie Venom, during the first human trials of the symbiote, the research team is happy that the patient's vitals are holding steady. This is a reference to the production and team not consulting a single medical professional to find out what a good vital signs look like. Ah, yes, a pulse of 136 and an oxygen saturation of 81%. The idea of levels. <laughs> yes, nothing to be concerned about out there. Perfectly normal. They said they were holding steady, not that they were holding healthy. Patient's vitals are steady. Doctor, they're dead, and maintaining that state quite well. God damn. Turn-based combat sucks, says someone from a country obsessed with baseball. Just because someone is from a country obsessed with baseball doesn't mean they themselves are obsessed with baseball. I hate when people make assumptions like that. Hold on a second. Wait, oh! The same person replied to their own <laughs> Twitter post. That's great. You know, as the concept of zombifying fungi becomes more and more popular, I notice it's still referred to ever as like a brain parasite. So I guess a lot of people overlooked or forgot how in 2019 it was discovered that cordyceps and other similar fungal parasites leave the brain and nervous system completely untouched. They only control the muscles. They use chemical signals to make the muscles flex in real time where they want to go. It's funny how many people are replying, but that's worse. Like, you didn't know that's exactly why I put a smiley. Sometimes I think to myself, you're not actually bisexual. You just drink off the men because as you think ink ink wings are hot and you while well, you still prefer women. I get sad, but then I realize how little sense that makes. Just remember. You are so bisexual, even if your brain is literally trying to uh, 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 tell you otherwise I I to uh, uh, gaslight you. You are what you identify as. That is as far as I'm going to go. <laughs> Observation. I have never broken a bone. Hypothesis. I am boneless. 
Data! I appear to have broken at least two bones in my foot slipping on the ice. Conclusion! I have at least two bones. Strong evidence suggests the possibility of a third one. And here, Anonymous says, Uneducated people like you are the reason why there are so many science deniers in the world. You have 206 bones in your body. Inaccurate number, actually. An adult will eventually have 206 bones in their body, but they will always is, is grow less and less bones. Until well, they are just one bone. But you usually die long before you become just one, uh, just a single bone. So at some time in your adulthood, you will have exactly 206 bones in your body, but you do not have 206 bones in your body at any given time. Just at one time that you do. You have a myriad of bones, and at 18, you probably have around, around 250 bones still. You might get 206 bones in your body at some point between in 18 and death. If you don't die before 18, if you don't die right after you turn 18 or something. So this is actually incorrect, but let's continue. Maybe you'd know that if you had more than a 4th grade education. Maybe you'd know that the 206 bones in your body event is actually inaccurate. If you had more than in a 5th grade education. I'm an astrophysicist. My mom just said she thinks men are going crazy nowadays because they have less gay sex now than they did in ancient times. She said, and she has a feeling it used to be just something guys did and moved on, and now it's a big deal for no reason. And I was listening along like, girl, Tumblr would love you. And yes, your mom is right. Holy crap, was there a lot more ancient sex and uh, um, gay sex in ancient times? I mean... There was a whole entire freaking island in Greece that was all about being sapphic. Because of a person named Sapphic. And her many, many girlfriends. On her gay island. It was beautiful. Adding a scary hour to your morning routine could be the secret to more productivity and focus. The satellite I just saw is making me lose it. Searching Dracula and Google Images and scrolling the results for an hour every morning, knowing suddenly at each pick like their motivational quotes before it's clucking into work. <laughs> that is why I hired a guy to break it in my house and attack me randomly at least three times a month. Ah, yes. That's a great idea. This is advantages of having thick hair. I actually do have thick hair. Some of it is frick. Anyway, your head it is always a hundred thousand degrees, shedding everywhere, snapping thin combs. Spend one hundred dollars on, on dye if you want to color it. Hair is still wet two years after you showered. But if you haven't showered in two years, there's a problem. But okay, it's not like your hair takes longer than growing it. No kidding. Advantages is of having thick hair. Advantages, the hairdresser goes, wow, so much hair. <laughs> Does the human average get enough sleep? What is enough sleep? What is the average man? What is does? San Francisco is Gavinor, California, February 25th, 1935. Sometimes I think humankind hasn't changed at all. What is does? I love that. That is beautiful. I know it's going to be great when it's a long one. 
and you do too. Well, yeah, logging? Sure, I guess. Oh, look at them. They're logging. Wait, frick! I meant yo guys. I'm pogging. Sorry. <laughs> now they're pogging while logging. Beautiful. Is that weird? Is it a bit weird that you spend in so much time moaning a name your in-laws came up with? <laughs> Not picking out your boyfriend's name for him. <laughs> Having a boyfriend and whose parents picked their picked his name in for him. Imagine not making your own. Couldn't be me. <laughs> Find us in the comments or place posts, and I'm giving it for future or use. I'm calling the police. No, wait, a cab. Which is all cops are bad. I'm gonna pay off a banker gang to kick your butt. Pay me royalties. No, screw you. <laughs> oh my goodness, dogs are so sweet. Me finding out that dogs sneeze when we play with them to let us know that it's not real fire and they don't want to hurt us. Oh my goodness. It's so heartbreakingly sweet. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's amazing. I hate printing. I hate paper jams. I hate ink cartridges. Drummer has been torn asunder. Sprinkle on. It's Wednesday. Don't forget to be yourself. Anyone else thinks this almost looks like a tribute of a, or a memorial to a victim of 9-11? I just think it is beautiful. I kind of a, I want to intentionally paper jam things just to see how beautiful it becomes. <laughs> I wish girls who want boob jobs and girls who want boob protections could just like. Venmo each other some titty. I wish I could Venmo my 30 pounds of titties to some trans girl. Solve my dysphoria problems and my back problems. Venmo each other some titty. <laughs> tree titty. Yeah, tree fitty. That's how much I need. Okay. What you want, fam? Let me get that Y equals MX plus B. Say no more. That is exponential exponential growth, which is Y equals A, B, E to the power of X. So you are wrong, and you have failed. Very true. Oh. <laughs> I made stew. It was awesome. I love potatoes. I love you too. Wait, what was in the stew? <laughs> it's about time I contributed to the online discourse. Bricks are domesticated rocks. Stop. Let them speak! Ha <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Scooby Doo taught me that the real humans are monsters. Scooby Doo taught me you could make other people do things by offering them dog food. Okay, that only works for Shaggy because Shaggy is weird. I I think Shaggy might have a weird thingy. The shrug emoji there. Oh yeah, by the way. The eyes of this emoji. These freaking eyes and that little mouth thingy. That's a Japanese symbol. That's katakana. I personally do not like katakana because it is so freaking hard to understand. They already have hiragana, which is the same exact thing, but not used for Western words. Anyway. Let's... This sim this emoji thingy with this katakana a shrug hug thing has already actually been typed after once by a single person. I don't un un think so. Japanese people have been making emojis like this for ages, ever since emojis became a thingy. Anyway, everyone else who has ever used it has just googled shrug emoji and copy pasted it. Why repaint the Mona Lisa? Good point. Ooh, gonna have to open this up in a new tab. Which means it's gonna be, holy crap, it's gonna be a long one. I promise, I won't get too crazy tonight. Three drinks later. Man and homemade to ink destroy small town. Helpless police have no way to stop him. <laughs> okay, but... Marvin Himeyer, I'm gonna send some uh, man in this entire thing. Then destroy his town. He specifically targeted buildings owned by corrupt politicians in his hometown, who over the course of nearly a decade. Okay, and now this sounds this sounds like it's about as much information as um just simply is saying that the, uh, the one emperor was just the one who invented the whipping cushion and nothing else about how she was actually a trans girl who who was constantly ridiculed and uh, abused by like the senate and stuff and then executed for marrying a boy or because how dare she be, be, be straight it as a trans girl anyway let's continue he specifically targeted buildings owned by corrupt politicians in his hometown. That is, all politicians who are rich. Who, over the course of nearly a decade, made it impossible for him to operate his muffler shop. Through a zoning dispute and some shady deals, the town trustees had placed a concrete plant directly in the plot of land he used to access his muffler shop, and then fined him for having junk cars on the property and not being hooked up, up to the sewer line. On June 4th, 2004, he mayor drove his armored bulldozer through the wall of his former business, the concrete flat, the town hall, the office of the local newspaper that editorialized against him, the home of a former judge's widow, and a hardware store owned by another man, Haymeyer named in a lawsuit, as well as a few others. Owners of all the buildings that were damaged had some connection to Haymeyer's disputes. Marvin didn't hurt anyone in his rampage. We did just recount on how we, he went out of his way to make sure that no one was hurt. The only casualty was after, was after he took his own life with a single gunshot after his bulldozer came to a halt. His story is a story of protest and revenge against a corrupt system that took advantage of him, prevented him from running his business, and wore him down until the middle earned in. Marvin Haymeyer is a freaking hero. Just remember, the misinformation that the news tried to spread about Marvin and Hebeyer is just as bad as the misinformation about the lawsuit against McDonald's for their 100 degree coffee. Which was known to be unhealthy, too hot, and illegal. And when an, a, an elderly lady 
want them to repay for the freaking and and burnt urns that at, at the coffee made to her thighs and and genitals. From how overheated it was, she was ridiculed at forever or, or afterward. Because McDonald's wanted to make sure that they never got a lawsuit again. Just remember, big corporations and politicians are not good people. And deserve everything that's happened to them right now. Let's continue. <laughs> I don't know, maybe the horrors would be less daunting if we were holding hands. With each other or with the horrors? I've got two hands. <laughs> Look at that rock. Look at this rock! Oh my goodness, that rock looks like a uh, like a guitar pick. The woman I plan to marry showed me this pebble that looks like a guitar pick, but then this ugly straight face said it's for rock music. Marry her faster! When my mom was pregnant with me, she was in the pub and this random creepy elderly woman that nobody ever saw before or since or she was going to have a boy. And when everyone was born, and when I was born, everyone was, was like, the creepy lady was wrong. But it turned out, I'm trans and the pub witch was right. I was foretold by the pub witch. Witches are always pro-trans culture. Transphobes cannot be witches. Take that, JKR. You can't be a witch. You're you're, or just a witch, but the W is, is spelled with a B instead. You can't be a real witch. Sorry. Oh sweet, you still have your old Wii still. Oh man, do you have any, uh, what was it called? The little cartoon guy that I made so I could... Would be in Wii Sports? You mean the me? Damn. The goal of the left. Look at them becoming a, a Marxist. <laughs> this is so freaking weird. Secret Antifa agenda unlocked. Turning from sexy to Marxism. What? I hate that September. Sept means nine. No, it's seven. October. October means eight. November nine. And December ten aren't the seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth months. <clears throat> Whoever fucked this up should be stabbed. Good news. Julius Caesar and Augustus. The two who made the longest, most screwed up months in the year, at least one of them has been stabbed 37 times out of 60. Or was it 27? I don't know. Progressive males are not men. 
they move and just as equally like women. The hand over mouth gesture is one example. Physically repulsive. <laughs> Conservatives get offended by the weirdest stuff. Imagine masculinity so fragile that you can't even touch your own face. <sighs> yeah, I think my browser already figured out what's up. I bet in the 20s, all the weird German evil girls were thirsting after these um, omnibolus. German evil girls. I'll just be like, it will. <laughs> Dude, he got so much thirsty fan mail from 1919 on from women who asked him, him to choke them. No lie. And from guy, I used for being a bi icon. By 1940, after the Hardy fam now, he got one playing a Nazi in Escape. He had to get a clause into his contract. That if he played a Nazi, it has to be clear he was the bad guy, and he was that much hotter in it than the a jerk ass hero. He honestly was the original hot villain actor who's a wonderful IRL. Don't hide this magnificent piece of info in the tags. <laughs> the original one slur. I'm kidding, I don't know anything about the actor. Warning! If you live on the second floor or higher of an apartment building in, in urban America, do not put your bed in the corner, and especially do not remove your bed frame or sleep on a futon. American apartment buildings are built like ramshackle houses of cards with god-awful acoustics. You will vibrate in your sleep and your brain will never be able to settle. At most, make sure only the back of the bed frame is touching a wall and no more. Do not suffer like I have. But I like my comfy corner. Hashtag bed, hashtag acoustics, hashtag sleep, can't sleep, no sleep. What if there was an immature young man who worked as a cook in a fast food restaurant and could not get a driver's license despite his best efforts? Now imagine he is a sponge. That is literally the, the plot of Spongebob Squarepants. The entirety of it. Damn. Sometimes the zoom just does not want to work. So, uh, was anyone going to tell me that the Pink Fairy Armadillo is only six inches long. Land shrimp. Penis. Sad face. A social media platform where everyone is just forced to listen to my music library and say nice things about the songs I like. Car that you're driving. Cause you choose the music there. Oh no. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Just thinking about DDLC again, and like the moment where Monica says, Or should I call you Windows username? If the name you enter in game doesn't match, that hit different as a trans person who hasn't yet updated Windows name at the time of playing. Sure, Monica knowing your real name is already scary. But being freaking dead named by Monica was felt so much worse and really funny in a fricked up way. The programming actually made this 
this beloved horror game character, you transphobic at me. Truly a, a gaslight gatekeep girl boss us moment. POV Monica is about to break the fourth wall in the form of accidental transphobia. Imagine that. Monica is a turf. Why am I not surprised? Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> You've solved the trolley problem. You've killed the person re responsible for tying all those people to trolley tracks. It's finally over. Wow, so you're telling me you took an action that resulted in the death of one person to save the lives of many people who would have died if you did nothing? That sounds so familiar. Yes, the choice of whether or not to kill the tr a trolley problem creator or to let people keep on or to do nothing and let people keep on getting tied to trolley tracks to have these horrible decisions and to let their lives be, be made. It is the same exact decision that is between pulling a lever so that the trolley it kills only one person or not pulling a lever so the trolley kills multiple people. <laughs> Imagine being able to detach your titties before bed so you could actually sleep on your stomach. Oh, that'd be nice. I've been growing a pair and they've been really sore. I've even having a hard time sleeping on my side lately. Anyway, my dumb butt gonna oversleep and forget my titties in the morning. Keys, wallet. Damn, my titties! Gotta run. If you die while making food in a slow cooker, whoever finds your body will have a nice warm meal waiting for them. They can also eat whatever's in the slow cooker too. Oh, it's been a while since I've tried to do seal noises. Ooh, I haven't tried since I started to kind of distance myself from the VTuber that does him a lot. Because she supports Turfy. He's shit. Anyway. Blank. Blank. Hello, land dog. I am water dog. Please help me. I'm the wow king. Oh yeah, I should probably talk about the game that I've been obsessing with and will be completely waiting for until the until May twelfth. Let me mention the really sad probably I told you what game that is. In 1786, I lost one of my sons, a fine boy of four years old, by the smallpox, taken in the common way. I long regret it, and bitterly and still regret that I had not given it to him by inoculation. This is, I mentioned, for the sake of parents who omit this ad operation on the supposition that they should never forgive themselves if the child died under it. My example showing that the regret may be the, the same either way, and that therefore the safer should be chosen. 222 years later, Benjamin Franklin's message about vaccination matters more than ever. This is as close as you're gonna get 
to a dead ancestor appearing in the sky and telling you to get your, your crap together. Seriously, anti-vaxxers, this is your freaking dead ancestor. A god, if you will, telling you to vaccinate your dang kids. Please. Anyway. Masks and helmets that hide someone's face in such a way that they become the that they become the face themselves, my beloved. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, this one is just SCP-49. These are all creatures to me. Angel of War, angular and strange, gleaming silver and gold, Angel of Wonder, pure and one-eyed, Looking to stars new and old. Angel of harvest, simple and hidden, bring nature's sweetness to all. Angel of health, mysterious and fine, beacon when life starts to fall. Angel of the deep, crooked and cage-like, guide us across the sea. Angel of solace, protect us from um, evil. Lead us to where we are free. Well, that was great in all Shakespeare, but I didn't understand a word of it. Me? Personally? I die every night, come back wrong every morning, but no one knows this because I've been doing that for a long time, so it's just kind of par for the course. Just getting ready for dinner. Look at that cat with the chopsticks in, in its mouth. Oh my goodness. I love that. That's adorable. The ham is melting. The turkey is suspended midair. The salami is hatching from its own egg. Why did we even come to Salvador Deli? Of course, I want to see the full image. You're supposed to see that on the site. Whatever. Did you know what I just realized? You know the haiku bot? Of freaking course you do. You know that message he puts at the end of every post? You mean it puts at the end of every post? The IQ bot is a bot, not a person. So it does not have a gender. Deep boop! I look for accidental IQ posts. Sometimes I mess up. Well, that's a IQ too! Deep boop! I look for accidental IQ posts. Sometimes I mess up. Now you look me in the eye, and tell me that's not the cutest thing you've ever heard. <laughs> Here's the haiku about literally proving the point. Beep boop, I look for excellent haiku posts, sometimes I mess up. Beep boop, I look for excellent haiku posts, sometimes I mess up. Huzzah! The proof is there, the haiku but found itself. It's full circle now. He did it. By God, he did it. What a little champ. It's full circle now. He did it. By God, he did it. What a little champ. Beep boop. I look for our accidental haiku post. Sometimes I mess up. <laughs> That's great. Uh. 
<sighs> People shouldn't have to pimp themselves off to the military to afford college. What the frick? They don't, lol? Actually, almost every teacher I have ever had has suggested joining the military because they'll pay for college, and almost half my class is either doing it or considering it. I hope that rock you live under has air conditioning. I did not put myself off to the military because I literally can't. Because I'm autistic, and also I have another disability that I've been using a cane from the ages of 9 to 14. Those are very fun. They tore down my childhood home in Istanbul. I visited last winter break and saw this nine-foot statue in its place. Caillou, stealer of souls, destroyer of homes. My goodness, the prophecies, they came true. Why is there a coyote on a bus? Because they can't drive. Why else? Crispy, juicy, tender. I just threw my newborn son into a blender. Alright. That's a TikTok. That's a short. That might be my next short, actually. I might just do that. You'll see. When something is kind of rad, but not too rad. I freaking hate this website. The phase when you realize you've been talking to your uncle, who you thought was your mom most of your life, and your mom hasn't even talked to you that much. And now everything feels awful. Mom was uncle, and now everything is confusing. Due to inflation, you must answer my riddles five. Due to budget cuts, I will grant you two wishes. Due to recent layoffs, there is only one of me, and I lie 50% of the time. Brazil has won so many World Cups because before the size of the shorts were smaller and the opponents were stunned with the even Brazilian legs. Now it's just a sport before, or it was a sport in actual tension. That's what we need to bring back. That's what will make Brazil won in. What? I apologize for having a nuanced opinion on the internet, but the destruction of a vast network that many creators rely on to reach their, their audience is heartbreaking, and watching the multi-billion dollar impulsive purchase of an Italian old man child crash and burn within days of getting his hands on it is objectively funny are two statements that can and should coexist. I agree. The destruction of a vast network that many creators rely on to reach your audience is heartbreaking. In, in yes, but so is watching the multi-billion dollar impulsive purchase of an child of an entitled man child crash and burn within days of getting his hands on it is objectively funny. I am literally only on Twitter for two reasons. One, because I haven't made a Discord or server that I'm comfortable with sharing on Twitter because I don't have a strong mod team to keep bots and turfs out of. And two, to watch the fire burn. How shall I get the serotonin and dopamine today? Hey. But mess with the, 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 the,
baiting in, in like a master. B. Buy myself something I don't need. C. Eat processed food. D. Complete one household task. Or E. I'll accept D. I know y'all I'll, I'll choose E almost every time, don't ya? Start doing D! My local rock station. You're listening to rock. Freaking rock. We're hard as crap. All the other stations are wimpy little snowflakes for not playing rock like we do. Hard rock. Rock and metal and freaking rock. Up next is Swan Pius, followed by Imagine Dragons. Because that's the only rock, rock music people seem to know. You can't even. <laughs> you can't even freaking. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. What the? Can you just work? Oh my goodness, you are being stupid. You did not just waste my time putting in the entire... Because I just don't trust these arrows. Hey guys, I put. Oh right. Hey guys, I put a picture or of a kitty under, or the cat. And oh my goodness, I actually did. I did a picture of two gray kitties in ID. I lied! Ha! Huh. There are two kitties! April Fools! I have never been so oh, 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 deceived. How dare you, OP? Both end on advice and end on confessions feel unpleasantly one-sided, but to opposite directions. On one side, you get gifts of something unpromptedly with no way to return the favor, and on the other side, you get burned with something you never asked for. So for the sake of fairness, I think we should normalize doing both at the same time. You receive the gift of knowledge that you needed at the cost of also receiving knowledge you never wanted. This completely casual combo per purpose and annuals going... Hey, I actually know how to fix that. Just add a splash of oil into the pasta before mixing it into the sauce. Also, I accidentally committed a felony on a vacation in Spain and never got caught. They just let me leave the country, but I'm scared of ever going back. My inbox is so full of information now. The very useful and the arcane and curse alike. Oh, they forgot the R and curse. I still put it in because... I believe in them. They're going places. Okay, I think I've been reading for like an hour now. <laughs> it's it's addicting. This subreddit is so much fun. It's kind of addicting to read it. If you enjoy... Hang on. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. It's been almost an hour. I'm sure that I'll be doing a short today as well. I'm sorry that I didn't do it earlier. I've been kind of skipping those. To focus on these long as heck videos. Anyway... 
you'll be seeing this uh, short on the day of recording, but you'll also be seeing me on the day after this comes out. Which I think will be the 7th? I'm not sure. I'll have to check. Anyway, see you then. Goodbye!